Hi, welcome to Lark Songwriters Place, celebration of National Poetry Month, 30 poets in 30 days. Today we are welcoming Mike Stinson. He will be reading a short poem and some haiku. Welcome, Mike. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm delighted that you're here. We're in Lark Song today. These are being filmed in various places, but today we're at the, in front of the the library at Lark Song. It's very so. beautiful inside, and the cardinals are singing outside, so yes. it's, it's it's wonderful. It's a beautiful day. Well, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. You're ready to read. We're ready to listen. Oh, okay. Uh, I do write haiku. I've had many, many haiku published, so I want to give haiku some some airtime today. So, and I picked out some uh, ones appropriate to spring even though the first one's open. <laughs> Watercolor, a tendency to fill in the white space. Watercolor, a tendency to fill in the white space. Self-help books in the donation box, spring clouds. Self-help books in the donation box, spring clouds. This one's in honor of the spectacular natural event that's going on at the Platte River right now. Matins, a congregation of cranes rise from the river. Matins, a congregation of cranes rise from the river. Spring rain, I shoot up from my chair on a whim. Spring rain. I shoot up from my chair on a whim. This one's from my little baseball haiku collection uh, chapbook. T-ball. The shortstop brings his dinosaurs. T-ball. The shortstop brings his dinosaurs. And the last haiku, Father's Day. I point out to my son the first firefly. Father's Day. I point out to my son the first firefly. And here's a short poem. It's called What Stays. Maybe you're driving down a chalky country road with your son and you pull over, maybe to pee, and your son decides to walk on, and you stand and watch him grow smaller until he slips out of sight and a sweet sorrow sings. Maybe you are then drawn to an expanse of prairie, and you curiously wade into it. The chest-high blue stem glows amber and red. And maybe you decide to kneel, then lie down on your back. You close your eyes and inhale the aroma of earth, dust, and flora, and you doze off, buoyed by the brawn of ancient grasses. Maybe you awaken, uncertain as to where you are, and you wonder why some dreams float near you for years. That's Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I love haiku. I like forms that force you to um, think in, outside of your regular free-flowing free flowing thoughts in a way. So thank you for sharing the haiku. And thank you for mentioning the cranes. Uh, yes. it's, it's a wonderful time to be in Nebraska oh, with the birds really everywhere. I was visited by snow geese this morning as, as I oh. got to Lark Song. It's just hundreds and hundreds of them. Yep. I think I might have saw them too. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us Thanks for this. For